Thanks for the chapstick. I'm taking that right now. <laughs> You're loading that one. Now. I have so much chapstick on me, it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sundance really survival. Like okay, Logan, what's the elevator pitch for this movie? Elevator pitch? Ooh, that's God, you asked the wrong guy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> About this guy who, you know, this this kid who grew up in a small town. He's kind of just a um, normal guy with a, you know, I guess a unique talent, and he suddenly <laughs> becomes successful and is trying to uh, figure out how to handle that responsibility. When we originally wrote it, my co-writer Aaron and I, uh, Jason Dolan, we were in our early twenties, and we were sort of thinking about how much we had changed in these past few years since we were 18, you know. Uh, there's a lot that goes on in those key years and we kind of wanted to start writing a screenplay that uh, bounced back and forth between those two, you know, periods of life just to see, you know, the differences and similarities in, in ourselves and thinking ahead to when we're you know, 30 and, and started just developing the, the screenplay from there. It was written many, many years ago and it's taken a long time to, to sort of come around to get made, but that was, that was sort of the story we wanted to, to tell. How do you personally handle the demands of fame without letting it damper your creativity? Luckily, I'm not famous, so but what do you think? Yeah, I'm not the famous. <laughs> I mean, I'm in the midst of potty, potty training a three-year-old, so <laughs> I mean, that kind of keeps it real. Yeah. I, I'm a fairly, like, private person to begin with. I'll only, like, tweet or, like, put something out if I really dig it or it means something to me or something. But, yeah, just having, like, a cool, like, core group of friends, a great support system. I got my brother out in L.A., so it's, like, a nice little slice of home for me. And, it comes with the, you know, your, I guess, you know, your films, you're on TV, you're a public figure, and people recognize you sometimes, and you know, I like the work that I've done recently, and I'm proud of it, so if anybody recognizes that, and I appreciate it, and that's pretty much it. Just keep making things that I like, I guess. What advice would you give your younger self when you were just starting your career? Well, I think like the time when you're a young kid and you're a sponge is so important, so I'd probably tell myself to like chill out and kind of absorb what's right in front of you a little more. Yeah. Because yeah. then you can only have those experiences when you're young. Like, you know, there's yeah. certain experiences you can only have at certain periods totally. of your life. So you want to make sure that you Enjoy have all those experiences. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. take, take your work seriously, but I guess probably not take yourself so seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, it's kind of a good, a, a good balance to have and to maintain, I think, throughout anyone's career.